Almost 50 years. November 1953, when English football given a real shock. Hungary came to Wembley and won 6-3. Things like that just didn't happen. In tactics, technique and finishing, England very much second best. An overseas team had never won on English soil. It's a result still seen as a watershed in world football. I looked at this team of Hungarians and I remember thinking to myself, we'll paralyze us like today. We'll simply paralyze them. As the teams walked out at Wembley, most Englishmen shared Mortensen's view. Although the Hungarians in their natty modern kit were Olympic champions and unbeaten for three years, an England team, including Stanley Matthews, Billy Wright and Alf Ramsey, was confidently expected to brush them aside. Look at the little fat fellow, one of the English coaches at the time said to his colleague before the kickoff. Ferenc Pushkas proceeded to ram that remark straight down English throats, in front of a stunned stadium where 20-year-old Bobby Robson was spellbound. Where were you in the stadium at this point? Where were you watching from? Well, I, was, I had a very good seat. I was a professional footballer for Fulham Football Club. Yeah. The club in those days used to take us to the matches. We sat in the stands, you know, pretty central. And I'll tell you what, look, this happened straight away. Hit a goosey. Now a chance for Hit a goosey. It's a goal. Tremendous. First one, in a sneaky little position, just off the two strikers. Nobody picked him up. No one saw him. And he was a very clever player, and he just picked the ball up and he slotted it home. Everybody has always said these Continentals can't shoot, but if that's a sample of what we're going to have this afternoon, then England are going to be in dire trouble. 1-0 after 45 seconds then for Hungary. We were stunned, because we saw a style of play, a system of playing that we'd never seen before. And none of these players meant anything to us. We didn't know about Puskas, we did afterwards. And all these fantastic players, they were men from Mars as far as we were concerned, and, you know, coming to England, never, England's never been beaten at Wembley. This is a 2-0, 3-0, 4-0, maybe 5-1 de demolition of a small country who had just come in into European football. Hadn't heard any, anything. You know, the, the captain, Frank Puskas, they called him the galloping major. He was an army. He was in the army. So how can this guy coming out of the army, serving for the Hungarian army, come to Wembley and rifle us to defeat? It had a profound effect, uh, not only on myself, certainly on me, it did. But, uh, but on, on all of us, the way they play, their technical brilliance and expertise, their movement, our, as it was then, WM formation, was kiboshed in 90 minutes of football against a new style, a new four, two, just two midfield players, and four up front. No one had seen this uh, style of play. And, it goes and, and their finisher was <laughs> so acute. Yeah. Uh, great movement. Players in, in unrecognized positions. This is Pushka. Oh, a lovely goal! He leaves Billy Wright here, doesn't he? Yes, he does. It was a good back, and Billy comes to tackle him, intercept there, it is. he just brings it back, and then with his left foot slams him. 24 minutes, Hungary 3, England 1. When you think of Matthews, and, and Lawton, and Mannion, and Shackleton, and Finney, and Billy Wright, and you can go on, can't you? Yeah. We produced pretty good individual players yes but uh, but our style of play and our tactical knowledge and our our ability on the ball was lacking behind the better continentals mm. the but better continentals our thing being italian football yeah. spanish football and as it was in this particular case the hungarians walter winterbottom was a, a fantastic england manager as far as i was concerned walter was not only the england manager but he was the director of coaching, coaching mm -hmm. for the football association and he was responsible for, you know, coaching ethics and the development of coaches and football in our country. He must have gone home that night astounded at what he's seen. And Walter, in his wisdom, realized that we were, not only had been outplayed that day, but we were maybe outdated. And he actually developed the 4-2-4 system back into, our, in, in, back into our football. Not only through the selection of the England team, but obviously through coaching courses, which he ran every summer at Liverpool. We needed to practice train with the ball more. You know, we, we used to, in those days, do a lot of football training without the ball. Training with the ball now was uh, a necessity. It was a must. We had to be better in all the basic skills, which is obviously passing and running with the ball and tackling. All those things had to be attacked. And they were attacked, basically, from about 1954, 55 onwards. And there is the whistle. It's all over. England 3, Hungary 6. That one game alone, in its entirety, changed our thinking. We thought we would demolish this team. It's England at Wembley. 
we are the masters, they are the pupils. They won't get the ball for a start. We'll be far too strong for them. And they won't see daylight. And uh, they'll be glad when the game is over. It was absolutely the other way. John Moxon reporting what was a landmark in the history of English football.